and mobile fiber was uh, disconnected and th in this uh, so we can make this as a part four of SAP WM warehouse management explanation detail and uh, so uh, I think I have uh, explained about the site selection and uh, what is the usage uh, say for example of uh, uh, site selection and all and uh, say the location must be dedicated to a room for a room for expansion and then the necessity of release must be must be easily available and uh, uh, say layout of narrows depends on the problem uh, proposed material handling system and uh, requires the development of floor plan to facilitate the product easy, easy product workflow that is very important and then it is difficult and uh, it is difficult to gen generalize about warehouse layouts since uh, they must be uh, redefined and fit to the specific needs of the customer and it, the pallets are to be utilized the first step is to determine the pallet size and uh, a pallet of non-standard size must be uh, must be desirable for the specialized products uh, uh, then <clears throat> say standard pallet should be used because of the lower cost okay the non-standard is mean it's a it's not a desirable uh, uh, desirable for the specific products but actually the, at the same time the standard pallet should be uh, used because of the lower cost and the most common sizes of the uh, 40 by uh, 48 inches and 32 by 40 inches are more common in pallet sizing and in general the large number of pallet load the lower the cost of the movement per uh, say uh, package uh, over the given distance that is important that's what actually if pallet size pallet load is more than the lower the cost so these are the dependent uh, uh, variables and the package to be placed on the pallet and the related uh, patterns uh, will determine uh, say uh, to certain extent so that the size of the pallet will be best suited for the operation and regardless of the size finally i mean uh, regard, regardless of the size of the finally selected uh, i mean uh, pallet handling system management should adapt one size for the total operation and second step in planning uh, layout involves the pallet positioning so first one is selecting a pallet and second one is the second thing is a pallet positioning the basic methods of positioning the pallets uh, say uh, is in a mechanized warehouse it's a, I mean, i'm not telling about the automated warehouse i'm telling about the mechanized warehouse uh, is a uh, is a say uh, is a 90 degree or a square or a placement that is important and square placement means that the pallet is positioned perpendicular to the ISL but when I mean, pallet is in position it's 90 degrees so it's a right angle uh, kind of thing kind of, what do you call the right angle triangle kind of thing and uh, square and the square methods um, uh, say actually the square method is widely used because of the the lay, layout easiness that is important so the uh, square method is best to prepare and uh, say actually the uh, profil uh, profiler age protection so the protection against the theft of uh, say uh, the merchandise has become the major factor in barrows operations and then such protection is required as a result of increased uh, vulnerability of uh, firms uh, uh, not and civil disturbances and everything so those are important protection is very important and normal precautions employed uh, throughout the enterprise should be strictly uh, enforced at each barrel. So the policy uh, adapted in the in the, in the main uh, plant should be adapted to each and individual barrels locations. And the security begins at the fence. It is very important. So whatever the protection should begin from the security level at the gate level. As a standard protection procedure, only uh, authorized persons should be permitted into the facility and the surrounding grounds and the entry uh, to the warehouse yard should be controlled through a single gate. So it should be a single gate and proper uh, security uh, securities to be provided and not allowing restricting the uh, common man to enter the 
Barrow Specialty, that is in pocket, and the computerized inventory control and order processing systems help to protect the uh, uh, say vendor vendor uh, vendor oriented from being the carried out uh, to the warehouse doors. So that is very important. And no item should be released from the warehouse uh, unless accompanied by a computer release document. So like a kind of uh, TO document or delivery document, delivery delivery chalon kind of thing. Without that, they cannot move the material from inside warehouse to outside. That is important. If samples are authorized for use of salesperson, the, the vendors or merchandise should be separate from other inventory. That is very important. We need to maintain separate for the salesperson to give samples. And the production and the important point production product deterioration. So uh, within the warehouse, a number of factors can reduce uh, the product of a material to a non usable or non marketable uh, state. And the most obvious form of the product deterioration is a damage from the careless transfer of uh, from one storage to another storage or from one location to another location so these are the possible things and another major from the another major form of deterioration is non compatible of products uh, stored in uh, the same facility that is important and the primary concern is a uh, is a deterioration that results from the improper uh, warehouse work uh, procedures that is also the one vital point on product deterioration and a constant concern uh, in the carelessness of the warehouse employees that is also one of the factors and in the respect the forklift truck may be well uh, managed uh, management was take uh, enemy so the worst maintenance of forklift would be the uh, one of the factors or a, it's considered as a worst enemy for this uh, product deterioration so if not pro properly made oil or are not properly uh, maintained by, by the by the maintenance department the forklift will have the problem and finally it will drop the product when carrying the load from one one i mean pallet from one location to another location that will deteriorate the product so these are the important things and uh, <clears throat> regardless of how uh, often the operators are warned against the carrying overloads some still attempt such uh, i mean attempt such shortcuts when not properly supervised so this I use I mean normally the warehouse user will uh, try to shortcut that uh, path without following the correct uh, best path for moving the product. So without proper supervision, that uh, they will try to move that in short way and it causes it, it causes damage or it, uh, it will hit that another surrounding uh, warehouse setup or something. It will result in product wear wear and tear. So that is important thing. And uh, say. Uh, in some situation, the stock of uh, four pallets were dropped off from the forklift truck at the receiving dock of the food of the food warehouse. And standard procedure was to move two pallets per load. That is important. We need to move two pallets per load. And the value of the damaged merchandise merchandise exceed the average uh, average delay uh, average daily profit of two supermarkets. And that is also important and the product deterioration from the careless handling uh, within the warehouse is to uh, warehouse is a form of loss that cannot be uh, insured against uh, and uh, say it constitutes uh, say for example 100 percent cost with no uh, uh, compensating them so these are the uh, major uh, problems in uh, product deterioration okay and uh, now actually we have the question how this uh, WM, uh, SAP WM helps to overcome all this product deterioration, uh, say this any of the barrels and everything. So we have many points to discuss here. So why uh, in mind, why WM is required? So many people have this question in mind when a company uh, would uh, re uh, need or want to use WM instead of just IM. So lot of factors go in before uh, they, uh, before a decision on the on this uh, criteria or in this situation that can may that can be uh, made so in a nutshell whether the tracking of material tracking a material and uh, the storage uh, bin or quant level is required or materials handled in a different units within the plan uh, within the plan so these are the questions and whether the third point will be whether 
uh, uh, say for example uh, whether the there are different people or process involved from the material uh, arrives at the gate till it is stored and vice versa that is goods issue process and whether the dangerous or hazardous goods are maintained so and rf and barcoding is required and then overall complexity if only im is activated example picking a material or performing a physical inventory etc and uh, not only about this uh, mentioned advantages with uh, sap wm we have having many more advantages described in the coming uh, i mean coming uh, explanations so even when i'm uh, working with many clients uh, such as coke then modus link and then emc and then actually for example uh, power industry and say the plastic industry chemical industry and uh, say for example with the uh, pharma industry so normally uh, what i inferred is people will ask actually why we need wm if you have already an im in place whether mm is already in place okay i mean whether is uh, mm is already in place so why we need wm and also some clients asking we already have wm and why we need to continue sap wm when sap mm is more compatible for inventory stock management so we can say that already uh, say that already have sap wm so is it working well for them or the users proper or the users properly trained or the users uh, say uh, the users uh, able to run the wm system without a uh, substantial level of uh, it or uh, external consulting support uh, what uh, what would the effort be uh, for them to switch back uh, to a non wm storage location so these are the important questions we need to ask from them and uh, yeah, it is uh, it is my guess that if uh, they are uh, considering moving back to non wm environment uh, that either they did not need wm in first place and it was initially uh, specified falsely for the requirements or they need wm but they need they never organized enough training or the critical mass of discipline users which is uh, required uh, to run a smooth wm system so we cannot consider i mean i say i cannot uh, say they say a handling sap mm is uh, is not a good but when varus size matters and if the operation requires more critical uh, automation uh, systems or more critical um, uh, material systems is it a handling systems is required so in that case actually um, uh, in the in those cases actually uh, we need a uh, uh, say uh, trouble free and automated with the minimum time in handling the stocks and placement and uh, removal and to handle the various customer at the same time during the peak reception issue operation so in the in those cases we need sap wm in place so sap wm will help the business users uh, in an efficient way and we can give uh, you certainly more light control than i am MMIM because the moment transfer order has to be confirmed after the tra transfer has been done WM creates a paperwork by the transfer orders and in my opinion and perhaps here a physiological philosophical one that ma making more storage loca locations in one plant to handle the different stock type is very robust and no experience or expertise consultant will suggest May, uh, maintaining stock with the more number of storage location at im level so the idea to avoid making 20 50 or 100 storage locations in one plant to avoid implementing wm is not a good enough here so here sap wm uh, wm places a vital role sap mm can handle various uh, kinds of stock at very uh, yeah, say at very um, easy uh step also uh say uh also the uh, the put away uh, and picking and uh say uh the put away picking and internal wm movements are nowadays automated and very minimum uh time is required between various operations so it removes uh the thinking it removes the thinking that 
when sap wm is implemented it is more complex to users to handle and more time required to uh, complex the business operations so this is a really a falsified thing and uh, and uh, here lot more the i mean actually normally people i am uh, i am seeing actually when sap wm is implemented actually if any fault or any issues system issues it will uh, give more downtime required time now required to fix a problem so that is not the case actually you can easily fix that issue with the expertise thing and uh, i hope that, uh, uh, by reading the sap uh, i mean uh, i mean once uh, you I mean people will go through the sap via wm videos uh, and the super users and consultants so they will get a positive and practical approach towards the sap wm sap wm is more sophisticated systems in automation field i mean mainly in the case of erp field so i would like to uh, say below information provides the information about the links for the most of the facts in the area of erp sap wm management is considered so sap warehouse management is a component of sap logistic execution system sap le and, uh, and deals with the following task that is inventory management in a random organized and fixed storage bin types and say process uh, processing all the relevant uh, uh, movements and tasks in the warehouse and uh, such as uh, uh, goods to safety push issue uh, movements or uh, movements within the warehouse so uh, it is not only uh, facilitates the management it will also helps to track the inventory so the the wm application component is not installed uh, in a, uh, a standalone system but is inter integrated in all the areas of sap business system say such as mmp psd qm tm everything uh, based on the complexity of the varos operations and the business uh, requirements a yeah, lean wm or a standard wm or decentralized wm or an extended warehouse management can be selected for the implementation so uh, these are the main consideration uh, and main factors to be considered a wm and the functions in wm application component i mean uh, application components include so wm we have wm inbound uh, receipts inspection and put away and inventory uh, save inventory means receipt interface to quality inspection system and put away and we have wm outbound processing for uh, say for example outbound shipments of goods pick pack and loading the shipment and wm internal warehouse uh, movements such as uh, uh, replenishment physical inventory physical count internal in physical count, cyclic counting production staging moving be uh, between the stocks moving between the bins and optimizing the use of inventory uh, storage space by using the strategies for stock placement and removal uh, strategy uh, removal operations and uh, that will optimize the warehouse operation and the yard management will help for yard management that will uh, help the yard and docking systems and optimizing the physical flow of inventory through a facility through a facility with effective use of strategies and replenishment and optimization of resource using the warehouse operations such as equipments and people with the task and resource management the uh, task interleaving and the cross docking functionalities etc and say uh, wm interfaces uh, such as integrating the uh, specialized material handling equipments that is mobile data entry label printing conveyors uh, scales automated uh, st st storage and retrieval systems and integrating with a third party uh software solutions and the nike applications uh, that is nike application the sense of freight uh, uh, freight rating and everything etc so so on so etc and improvement of operations uh, say uh, uh, improvement of operational uptime uh, options uh, that is decentralized wm extended wm etc and the master data maintenance and the workflow and our cabling and uh, say uh, general warehouse management reporting and metrics ca calculations uh, with the warehouse activity uh, monitor rfq and the monitor the uh, rfq monitors etc and lis logistic information reports those are the handy things which uh, helps to report and calculate the metrics of the warehouse okay and uh, the i can i mean we can um, briefly see that uh, functionalities in uh, wms receiving in the sense in a bin or asn or eda or uh, conventional uh, conventional or automatic 
put away in the sense dedicated uh, random or hybrid or uh, location uh, location selection or system or op uh, systems or operator uh, put away can put confirmations and uh, picking and shipping in the sense actually pick by order and uh, batch uh, pick by batch pick by wave uh, pick confirmations and then uh, shipping uh, shipping checklist and then uh, say uh, manifesto and bills of lading and creating a response responsiveness responsive in the warehouse management systems and use co contemporary adc technology and systems to assure accurate execution of receiving storage and move task and error free picking replenishment and shipping and traceability and provide seamless interface to other uh, corporate systems to assure real time availability of inventory availability using uh, stock keeping units quantity the lot number and the number uh, lot number serial number and shelf uh, and shelf life by location and real time order confirmation and status of status for the customers and even driven uh, inspection inspection handling and the facilities that should matches the availability of resources to current and expected inbound replenishing inbounds replenishments and uh, outbound uh, uh, outbound workload and uh, select the best operators and the equipments uh, for uh, task and the task based upon proximity skill resets and uh, priority task operator to immediately store or cross stock the receipts and support return processing and data reverse logistics use task uh, um, interleaving to minimize the dead head uh, dead heading and then uh, improve order consolidations and uh, wave wave planning inventory allocation and the pick sequencing and uh, identify the consolidation of power and consolidation opportunities to free space and reduce the outside storage uh, requirements support uh, bill of material work order and value added processing update inventory records as event occur uh, so it will system the inventory will update uh, then and there uh, based on the requirement and provide accuracy that allow the replacement of full physical with the scheduled cycle counts and time stamp uh, each transaction and identify the operator who performed it for tracking of the operator uh, efficiency and time of working for the operator and provide feedback to the workforce and support performance measurement and measure sub measure supplier and carrier performance and uh, forklift operation these are the main things so i hope actually uh, i mean these are the effective ways where the varus metrics and everything can be calculated and effective operation can be achieved and uh, here i mean one more thing i like to uh, give the advantages of varus management with the wm models uh, provides flexibility efficient and uh, automated support uh, and enable and that will enable you to manage a complex warehouse structures and uh, define and manage the storage areas and storage bin in the warehouse uh, for di several different types of storage high rack storage flow or cold storage etc and execute the stock placement and movement removals using different put aways and picking strategies and interface to external non sap warehousing systems and manage inventory at the storage bin level so these are the advantages and we have uh, disadvantages in the sense of transaction intensive uh, intensive and master data so extra master data must be maintained when using wm say uh, each material master requires two extra views to maintain in stock placement removal strategies fixed bin information replenishment quantities etc as well as storage bins must be maintained in the system and uh, complexity in the sense wm adds a larger layer of complexity to the system because transfer orders are typically initiated from im transaction reversing a transaction becomes more difficult and we have uh, fourth pass a fourth point we have failed transfer orders a large degree of automate automation can occur in wm by, by having im transactions generate an automatic transfer order creation in wm uh, quite often automatic transfer order creation will fail uh due to the lack of inventory and inventory not being uh 
uh, in the bin. Uh, so in that case, the system expects or incorrect some master data. So if failed transfer order is not reprocessed, often uh, for, uh, often in future the automatic transfer orders will fail as a result of as a result of one WM error uh, can compound into two or three WM errors. Uh, monitoring a failed transfer order in a, uh, is a daily task and it is a it's a kind of laborious uh, uh, task uh, com I mean, uh, uh, complained by the uh, warehouse users in when I work in mean, when I work in SAPWM projects and <clears throat> we need to avoid this one and uh, the, the discipline because of the complexity and the failed uh, transfer orders that can occur in WM a strict uh, discipline is required to maintain in inventory accuracy. In WM inventory accuracy is not limited to count but also includes location okay, and cyclic counting. So cyclic counting is more complicated when using WM uh, as opposed to just IM. Cyclic counting in WM is a four step process as opposed to three step in IM. In addition, when performing a cyclic counting, Count in WM, the particular storage bin will be blocked for the stock uh, placement or removal. Thus, if automatic transfer order creation is initiated from, a, from an IM transaction, at the time uh, a WM count is active, uh, is active, the transfer order will fail due to the bin being blocked by the uh, cyclic count. So, these are the uh, important things. Okay, and the VARO solution. Next, we come with the VARO solution. The, there are three different solutions with uh, three solutions that SAP provides SAP IM, SAP WM, and uh, I mean, Dean is that is Dean SAP WM and full SAP WM and SAP IM. That uh, other than SAP uh, the decentralized warehouse management, warehouse management, and extended warehouse management, those are uh, separate solutions. And uh, so, uh, to address the different requirements of the warehouse. You see, IM is a basic requirement before lean or full WM can be implemented. SAP IM doc documents the stock movements of a storage location and counts for uh, the overall stock level of the storage location. Okay, and full SAP WM is an extension of SAP IM. Uh, it manages warehouse, where it manages uh, the stock up to the storage bin level and the monitors monitors the overall operation and uh, overall operation of the warehouse. Additionally, it manages the optimized different warehousing procedures in the warehouse. And a scaled down version of SAP WM is a lean SAP WM. Uh, so uh, it is a laid down version of a full SAP WM and it monitors or stock at the storage it monitors stock at the storage location uh, so I mean I mean storage location level but it only supports fixed bin warehousing that is very important so uh, now actually uh, I'm talking about uh, SAP IM that is inventory management the straightforward uh, say uh, stock placement and stock removal process of SAP IM are recommended for small and uh, low complexity warehouses that is important the stock uh, counting capabilities of IM are also are all, is uh, also adequate rather than the quantities within the specific bin location. Uh, okay, at the warehouse uh, with lesser stock keeping units. The, this recommendation applies for lower cap complex uh, complexity uh, finished package warehouses and all the bulk uh, depots and all raw material warehousing operations. And we can say pros in the sense straightforward and simpler warehouse operation less complicated task and uh, and steps to be carried out uh, by the warehouse person supports fixed bin warehousing and uh, cons in the sense random warehousing is not supported difficult to lo locate the oldest shelf life product in the warehouse warehouse uh, optimize uh, optimization is not possible does not support um, uh, stock placement and stock removal strategies and uh, the distribute, distributed warehouse personal, uh, I mean, distributed warehouse personal workload not possible. Okay, these are the disadvantages. And next comes lean warehouse management. So, lean warehouse management is used to manage 
the stocks of the storage location level with fixed bin location assigned to the individual materials okay <coughs> and the tra transfer orders are still created and uh, serves uh, as a uh, pick list serves as a pick list okay transfer order can be served as a pick list and lean warehousing uh, is ideal for warehouse warehouses where picking still uh, takes place using the picking list without complexity of full wm so that that is the criteria to be uh, considered and the pros of lean uh, wm uh, fixed uh, bin warehousing uh, is supported wave picking is supported distribution of workload uh, still possible for the warehouse personnel so these are the uh, pros and the cons in the sense does not support random warehousing and the more complex picking procedure compared to sap im as a transfer order have to be created and confirmed same as a full uh, sap wm right and then warehouse optimizes uh, warehouse optimization is not possible because of the fixed bin uh, warehousing that is important point to be considered so uh, uh, we have discussed about uh, the pros and cons of uh, uh, inventory ma management and lean <coughs> wm lean wm is a kind of partial wm we cannot say it's a full sap wm <coughs> and now we can talk about full sap wm so as a warehouse size grow in day-to-day -day operations the complexity also increases so the need of uh, need for a full sap wm becomes necessary uh, in day-to-day -day life and the sap or wm optimizes and the streamlines of arrows operations however it is uh, added it, it adds a complexity over sap im and it is the uh, and same one is a drawback for sap wm uh, both advantage and disadvantage okay and then pros now we are talking about pros pros in the sense information about the extra exact location of the stock in the warehouse is available and then random warehousing is supported stock placement uh, and stock removal uh, strategies are available and then distribution of workflow uh, for the warehouse personnel is possible and suppose all inventory uh, counting methods and then warehouse optimization is possible and then can be linked to RF technology uh, further improve the stock uh, movements uh, for further, uh, further stock movement process and then cons in the sense more complex put away and picking pro procedures in the warehouse may be uh, may be adversely affect the warehouse operations and sap wm is recommended uh, for a large complex warehouses uh, it support bin level and uh, um, uh, bin level management capability likely integration with the rest of sap uh, models stock management uh, strategies random uh, warehousing capability and cyclic counting support can be much helpful in improving the efficiency in a day-to-day -day operation of the warehouse it's ready uh, it, uh, say uh, it's ready integration with rf technology with the full uh, for uh, with uh, will further boost the sap uh, wm efficiency sap wm has, has one drop uh, drawback here in this case it places additional workload to the work warehouse personnel uh, to enter the transaction uh, related to handling and movement of products within the warehouse since sap wm manages more granular activities in sap than sap im more granular uh, transactions are required in the sap system so i can say actually once a major drawback normally reported by the users in the warehouse is actually if uh, they are creating confirming a transporter uh, managed with hu then it is very difficult to reverse the hu so we need to move that stock to another location and then uh, create a new transfer for that and then confirm that so that will that will be a uh, only one solution then then later on we need to um, if the the user particular user don't want to use that particular delivery we need to uh, reverse the delivery i mean picking the uh, then delivery everything so that is a uh, i mean always uh, uh, some uh, robust uh, thing i have already explained in the earlier uh, uh, earlier uh, videos so now actually inventory management i would like to uh, again come come with inventory management futures inventory management tracks a quantity and the value of a material as it in progress through the uh, location through the i mean as it progress through the location 
and stock is managed by the storage location which which uh, are used to represent the logical uh, logical sections of the site where goods are stored and im provides very limited uh, information about the individual lots such as uh, which materials are stored in uh, which specific storage bins so i mean there, there, there is not a uh, exactly not storage bin in im i mean i mean storage location where tracking is not possible granular uh, like the case in sap so that is a uh, that is an important thing uh, to be considered inventory management key key features so im will fully integrated with the core models mmpp sd fico and real time accounting is possible uh, i mean postings i'm telling and then manages special stocks sales order stock consignment stock etc simple to use if it post it works so no visibility of outstanding picking request and limited reporting or picking accuracy that is planned or versus actual and im is well suited for small facility with a uh, simplified layout and lower levels of inventory on hand and then uh, usual controls in place uh, to enhance a material handling simplified material handling process and outsourcing uh, outsourced warehouse operations and then only uh, only need, visi need visibility of aggregated inventory for the storage location these are the main features uh, and these are the uh, in areas well suited for an IM and ERP warehouse management. So ERP warehouse management, why we need ERP warehouse management? Uh, because the warehouse management provides flexible automated support in processing the all uh, goods movement and is managed stocks in your warehouse and stock is managed at the bin level for the exact uh, location of products and movement of goods are point to point that is dock to bin or bin to supply area etc so we can easily track at what level or what location the stock is placed so these are the advantages and the capacity and the volume uh, capacity capacity and volume assist the uh, assist with managing space in the barrows so this is very important and um, and people will ask what are the core system process support so core uh, system process support here uh, we can list that thing that is fixed bin replenishment put away and picking strategies storage unit management asmeth uh, principle and then inbound, inbound material processing internal movements and outbound material processing physical inventory these are the core system support of sap wm and uh, what are the uh, key features of sap wm so we can say fully integrated within the core models mmppsd qm whatever it may be and manage a special stock such as sales order stock consignment stock etc and then <clears throat> we have we are can able to maximize the warehouse space with the use of storage capacities that is SVM like that and then provide full visibility into workload for the user community and uh, not like IM and limited reporting of, on picking accuracy that is planned versus actual and uh, main important thing the SAP WM enables the extension of uh, extension sets for the uh, complete functionality that is small uh, small large facility and then low mid uh, volume of uh, picks and then uh, we have uh, facilities with multiple types of uh, storage such as rack bulk fixer bins etc and then direct parts for picking and put away and uh, uh, say uh, minimal need for complex labor and uh, distance uh, uh, calculations and then uh, production uh, production sites are uh, that requires bin level visibility on the shop floor these are the important uh, uh, criteria which are SAP WM will best is true and WM interfaces so this uh, WM in the sense actually WM interfaces with the external systems include radio frequency devices label printers and then material handling devices and then uh, the, the conveyors, automated uh, storage retrieval systems, and uh, warehouse execution systems, and these are the external systems where uh, the nature of the area and the information provided in the selection in the section will be uh, will be functional as well as technical. Okay, and um, 
the wm interface in the varos can include uh, interfaces for the i mean as already told the radio frequency device with label printers and metal handling devices to as far as and then varos execution systems and uh, say uh, uh, say for example uh, sap standard wm interface with idocs and varis and business function of wm interfaces these are the thing so i hope actually uh, we have covered the main uh, aspects of sap wm and uh, say normally people uh, will ask why we need sap rf in uh, varos management so the ability of sap transaction can be directly uh, read on a radio frequency equipment to a handled and held a fork fork uh, lift uh, mounted devices that eliminates the need of middleware uh, since the devices connected to sap are uh, or I mean actually varying from screen size of different or or of devices so so actually we it can handle whatever uh, size it may be and sap has developed a special transaction with easy to use logic and sap solution is focused on real time handling and material flow through or of scanning devices that is important the concept of having the screens and business logic within the sap system make it easy to administer and easy to uh, distribute a new process to each device and easy to set set up integration test scenarios so and uh, what are, what are the benefits of implementing sap sap or of solution that is important thing sap does not use any uh, middleware product on one, on, on one hand this saves a lot of money on the and on the other hand it reduces the effort effort required to work with additional software uh, uh, additional software serving as a middle product furthermore it enables you to keep uh, the number of uh, partners I mean it will keep the number of partners low uh, and it is relatively easy to implement additional process or change the existing functions since the entire business a logic uh, lines within the sap adapt for bandit it uh, since it provides the seamless integration with sap so now you might have a question right so if if i have uh, any of the above arrows in process configuring sap system and if you would like to implement rf solution can i implement rf solution so uh, technically uh, rf solution can be implemented for any types of arrows arrows in function uh regarding the im or lean or full var of the so that is very important okay so uh no say actually normally the wm or transaction will start with the L, uh, lm like that and steps in uh, implementing or of implementation that is scanning so the first thing is sap wm is required and the second thing is sap console or sap web console configuration sap it it is uh, intermittent transaction server is required and then the uh, uh, telnet server uh, configuration is required and network security design and sap rf rf architecture is required and finally sap web development or of programming in case of standard lm uh, transactions code does not meet the business requirement so in that case uh, covered uh, i mean actually we need to Uh, custom the code and we need to create a z uh, z customized transactions and also we may, we have the uh, say whenever you are implementing any or of thing actually we need to consider the the uh, the or of capability say uh, at, the, at what extent or what mean up to what le- area level actually in the varos or of is supported so based on that the end mass selection height will be based on say for example if it is 10 kilometers radius of the varos then the antenna should be calibrated or installed at that level or of antenna so uh, that will help us uh, to capture the or of signal uh, used by the i mean as uh, prescribed by the government so those are the things very important and we have lot lot of or of or of design criteria are there so that <coughs> antenna and the varos uh, distance will be in the line of sight so uh, so we have different different calculations for the uh, 
antenna distance and antenna height uh, for the barrels so i hope actually uh, this video is uh, very much useful for uh, for to understand what is uh, sap barrels and and what sap implemented barrels and what is its advantage and i have discussed about sap im uh, full barrels management lean barrels management so these are the three uh, sections i have uh, disc i mean described here and i have not touched this sap distributed barrels management uh, dwm and extended barrels management dwm so i hope this video is very useful for everyone thanks for listening my video uh, shivakumar signing off